Yay, it's Friday morning. Um, shit night last night, excuse my language. I was um, <clears throat> trying to edit the first week's vlog and it all went terribly wrong. I'd finished editing it and obviously it was my first one, so it... cat's running around like a crazy person. So it took me about three hours. Um, went to go export it and it was like, oh, sorry, some kind of file type is wrong. So I tried for about an hour to change it to an XM from an X. XLM to a MOV or an MP4 or know, something that YouTube will accept. And it's like, nope, not having none of it. But I all that's having a proper crazy moment. But I also realised that, um, sorry, I'm just trying to log on to see if I can fix it this morning before I work. also realised that for about 95% of the film footage that I've done for two weeks worth of vlogs, it's all cut off on the screen, so it's cut off here. And I'm really hoping and praying this isn't. I'm going to have a mess around when I get in tonight and take some footage and upload it straight away. Oh, he's just knocked my phone on the floor. <laughs> Good job, it's already broken. Yes, and try and mess around with it that way and um, see if I can fix it at all because it looks ridiculous. It's like square instead of long. You think it should be 16.9 or maybe in HD? I have no idea. You live and you learn. Can't expect perfection on a first vlog. Although it took me forever last night and I was trying to get perfection. I was like, I'll make it really good to make up for the fact that the screen looks like it's on a 1980s television. All boxy and stuff. So we will see if I can manage it. I'm off to London tomorrow night. No, I'm off to London tomorrow morning to get my eyebrows done by um, perfect, def perfect definition um, by a lady called Elle. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm going to vlog that. Um, and hopefully get, a, hopefully get a little bit more footage than I did of when I had my eyelashes done. And hopefully a bit more steadier footage because editing that last night it was all like really shaky. <sighs> Life without a tripod eh? Takes its toll. The cat is like proper having a crazy moment right now. Oh, here we go with the focus. I also had to get rid of loads of footage. Um, that I'd filmed because it was all shaky, uh, not shaky, it was all blurry. So now I have a reason to keep looking up in my viewfinder to make sure it's in focus. Also, the background noise on the vlogs is really um, fuzzy, so it turns out this camera isn't perfect. Boo. But it'll do for now. What can you grumble at for 30, 40, 50? 30, 40, 50. 50 pounds. Stop it, camera. Maybe that's a cue that I should get off and try and flick flicks. I don't know what's wrong with me this morning, but maybe it's a sign that I should get off and try and fix this vlog. Um, yes. Bye, because I'm off to work now, so I won't be back vlogging until tonight. Um, and by then I may have lost the plot and tried to throw my Mac out of the window. Bye. So I'm back from work and it's been a ridiculously long day. Um, I don't know why, because I've only had a two-day week, so it shouldn't have been that bad, but it has. Boo. Although it's Friday now. I'm up again early, because I've got a half-past nine-ish train to London in the morning. So, yes, I'm going to get my brows did. So excited. It's going to save me about 15 minutes every morning, which is always good. Um, I'm hoping I've got this on the right setting. I need to really export this and check, but I'm still currently waiting for my, oh sorry I thought the cat was there then, <laughs> still currently waiting for today's vlog to go up. I left my laptop on in the bedroom away from the cat in the hopes that it would upload whilst I was at work but no such luck, it stopped at around 14%, it's currently now on 16% with 3,000 minutes to go, 3,297 so should get it sometime this week maybe, I'm hoping now that the internet is on because obviously the Mac has closed itself down while I've not been on it. It was hoping whilst it would do it during the day whilst I was at work and other people were at work so the internet would be faster but damn those damn kids scuppered my plans. I'm not allowed to drink tonight because I'm getting my eyebrows done tomorrow and it's it's a bit depressing. Sorry, the cat is going to his little box. He's just been, and then I cleaned out his little box, emptied it all and everything, everything out of it. And he's like, oh, I'm going to go christen it now. Making a mess for me. So, 
but I can't even remember what I was saying now. Yes, I'm getting my brows done tomorrow. Semi-permanently tattooed on at perfect definition. And I can, can't drink until I've had them done. So I couldn't drink last night, which is not a problem because it's a school night. But I love, like, a gin or two. Yes, only two. Um, once I've finished the working week. And I obviously can't today, so... But it's worth it in the end for good brows and 10 to 15 minutes extra sleeping in the morning and not having to put makeup on just because my brows are really thin and sparse. So if I'm going to like Morrison's or just nip into the corner shop, I tend to put my eyebrows on, but I can't just put my eyebrows on because it looks weird. So I have to put other makeup on as well. And so I won't have to do that anymore, which is good. Because my skin's terrible, terrible at the minute. I um, took like a cleanser on holiday with me that I've not used before. But because I was drinking most nights and getting pretty drunk because it was free drinks. And so why not? Um, I wasn't, I was cleansing my face with makeup wipes on a night and using my cleanser on the morning. So my skin's paying for it at the minute. I'm like covered in mosquito bites. Um, covered in like clogged pores. So I need to try and get that back on track shouldn't be difficult considering the amount of products that I've got. Um, I've also got, just making sure the cat's not about to attack me, I've also got about um, five or six parcels that have arrived whilst I've been on holiday and I've still not opened them yet. Still not even unpacked. I've basically done nothing since I got back off holiday. Um, so yeah, I might open them a bit later on once I've got this vlog up, which is now at 17%. And only 3,080 minutes to go winning. Um, also, when I was um, editing this vlog last night, I'm sick of the sound of my own voice after like three hours of editing it. I don't even know why it took that long. But also there's like lots of background noise on this. Um, just like general humming fuzziness. So I'm thinking maybe of getting like a little microphone. Because I went to an ice dolly event a couple of weeks ago. And they said, there was, um, I forgot the name of the company now, but it's a Swedish woman, Scandinavian woman, who does, like, vlogging workshops. And she was saying, you know, if you just got, like, like a little cheap microphone, it's perfect. Back again. Um, yeah, sorry, I had to end that quite abruptly. The door knocked, somebody knocked on the door even. Um, because I live in an apartment block, it's strange when somebody knocks on the door and it kind of weirds me out because obviously if I'm expecting somebody, I know they're here and you have to buzz in to get into the main door downstairs. So, yeah, because that hadn't happened. It was just a parcel for a neighbour. Got really giddy when I saw the Amazon. I was like, oh, because I placed an Amazon order today, but obviously it's not going to come within a couple of hours and it wasn't even to this address. So, totally forgot what I was saying before. Um, yes, might get a little microphone or something just for when I'm indoors because the background noise is ridiculous and I don't tend to vlog and talk outside. So we'll see how that goes. I'll see what this one's like editing. So, also, I realise I've been rambling for about five minutes now and I keep doing this. Such a long week. See all them chins then. Yeah. Uh, so what am I going to do tonight? I'm going to try and get this vlog up. Um, it's 18 percent now under 3,000 minutes try and get this vlog up tonight um have a shower and stuff so i don't have to get up extra early for london in the morning um what else i've still not watched this week's game of thrones so i should really watch that at some point also got to do some cooking what else do i have to do and clean my shed of a house which i keep saying i'm going to do and then just never get around to it it's just there's like so many boxes and stuff at the minute um because i used to get my blogging mail and my general mail parcels that i order i'd get them to my mum's and i'd open everything there and leave her with all the boxes but since i've got purses she tends to just drop them off because i don't really go up there for long periods of time anymore so now my house is just full of boxes which i need to sort out urgently so I'm cutting off the top of my head, so yeah, that's not that's not a good look. Although to be fair, the size of my forehead it'd probably do some good. It's like a five head. And all the wrinkles on there. 
it's not good. I'm starting to realise I'm looking really old. I'm also starting to ramble quite a lot right now. Hello, Percy. Why do you want to be in the vlog? Oh, you see his little head. I mentioned before it's hard to get him on vlogs because nearly everything in my house is black. I generally wear all black or a lot of black. And he is black. So it's hard to get him on camera and get him in focus and with definition and stuff. Right, I'm going to go do something other than talk to this camera because if the door knocks again, the man was looking at me really weird, the Amazon delivery guy. He was like, I'm sure you're in there talking to somebody. Can't see anybody in your house. So, yeah, first strange vlogging experience. Right, I'm going to go this time, I promise. Bye. So, worst lighting ever. <clears throat> but I've just put my lipstick on and I've got um, a new colour from Jared Cosmetics called Cher. Um, just uh, lightens pants, probably best you'll see it outside, but how pretty is that colour? It's like, I hate to say it because it's such a blogger cliche to say, but it's like my lips look better. But it's so, so cute. I think maybe you can see it better now. It's um, from the Hydra Matte range. So it goes on, it's a liquid lipstick, but it goes on really, really thin. What, Percy? <laughs> He's having his like proper crazy hours pulling faces at me and everything. <laughs> Trying to attack my arm. But yeah, it goes on really, really thin for a lip liquid lipstick and quite I was like, oh my god, have I bought the wrong thing? Because it was quite glossy looking to start with and very, very liquidy. But it's drying down matte now. It's a little bit tacky, but it's so pretty. Love it. Also look at my lashes, like amazing. I'll just sit here and blink at the camera. Yeah, so I just need to do my hair and get dressed. Sort my bag out and then I'm off. But I just thought I'd check in with the lipstick because it's so, so nice. Look at that glow. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do with my hair. I tried to dry shampoo it. Excuse the getting ready headband. But yeah. Let's go finish getting ready. So I'm ready. <clears throat> um, it's 10 to 8, so I'm ready extremely early the cat is running around in boxes like a lunatic um nothing different there really so yes as i said i'm ready very early it's only 10 to 8 my train's not until half past 9 20 to 10 ish so i think i might go to the train station about get a taxi about quarter past eight grab a starbucks because basic bitch um what else grab a starbucks Go to Sainsbury's, get something to eat for the train. Um, I plan to edit um, my holiday vlog on the train, but I more or less did that all last night, so it's just really to watch it and make sure it's okay. So I've got nothing to do on the train. Problems. Maybe I can nap, but then I'll end up with mascara all down my face, so maybe not. Mm. Finally here, yes. Train ride down was fun, as much as a train ride can be. Um, I hate the tube though. It's like I'm vlogging in public and everyone's looking at me. It's so scary. But yeah, I hate tube. I hate it. It's just it's too busy. It's too warm. It's too many steps. But the idea of it's brilliant that it gets you places within like ten minutes. Just not a fan of it in actual reality. Um, it's quite nice in London today. Um, the train line email that I got with my tickets on told me to bring an umbrella and I stupidly didn't, but not a bad thing I guess. So I'm going to have a walk around to the clinic now.
um, they're a little bit sore and swell them. Not sore as such, but more just a little bit stingy from um, the anaesthetic and the pigment. But let's see if you can get a good close-up. But look how realistic they look. Can you see? Can you see? I'm so happy with them. Um, Elle's like amazing. She took quite a while drawing them on and getting them perfect. She more or less had them perfect first time after drawing them on with a crayon. Um, then we worked together to tweak little bits. Um, like I wanted this one a bit further in. And because my eyebrows are like one's up here and this one's down here. What we've... What Elle did, should I say, not what we've did, I did nothing. <laughs> um, it's kept this one normal because this is my better brow and lifted this one slightly. Um, but yes, I'm so happy with them and they look so much like actual hair strokes. Don't know if the video is capturing it very well, but my battery's about to die. Hi guys, yay, I'm awake. Um, I got back from London yesterday. Um, finally put my camera on charge, but then I was just too knackered to do anything, so I didn't really vlog. Um, and I got up this morning, put some makeup on, ran a few errands, came home, had a nap. I just got up from my nap because my mum phoned me. She was dropping me some stuff off, um, a load of parcels. But look at these bad boy brows. I mean, come on. There's nothing on them. Um, it was weird because I'm not supposed to get them wet, so it was weird last night having to... Uh, wash my face and just like wash around the brows i'm also not allowed to put makeup on them excuse my napping hair i'm also not allowed to put makeup on them for a few days so i should be fun trying to do my foundation tomorrow because my foundation is already a couple of shades lighter than my face no yeah a few shades lighter than my face um, i managed to get the final little drips out of my two face born this way foundation but even that's still a little bit too light so I'm going to have a very light face compared to my chest and then I'm going to have like brown marks around my brows and my natural tanned skin colours coming through at the minute. Um, that's about it. I've not done anything today. Um, kind of just catching up on stuff after my holiday. I watched a bit of YouTube. As I said, I had a nap because everybody loves a Sunday afternoon nap. Uh, Percy was napping with me, which is really cute. Cause he's been a bit strange with me since I got back. Excuse me. Napping dry mouth. Um, yes, but my mum's just dropped me a shed load of mail off. I already picked up about four or five parcels from her this week. I keep looking around at the cat. He's playing with some rubbish on the floor. And by rubbish, I mean plastic that's come off something. Um... So yeah, she already dropped me a load of parcels off this week, but she's just dropped me a load more off. Uh, one, two, three, four of them. One, two, three, four. Four are Amazon parcels, which I ordered on Friday. Then one, two, three, four, five. Five are blog stuff. Five or six are blog stuff. So um, I'll quickly run through some stuff that I've got because there's, there's quite a lot. There's definitely quite a lot. Um, so the other day um, for my Beauty Bay order, I ordered the LA Girl Pro Primer in black to set as a base for some YouTube looks. I also ordered two Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks and a LA Splash one, which are very, very nice. They should be in a YouTube video soon with swatches. No, Percy, it's not for you. Um, an Essay Nail Varnish, which is what I wanted to wear for my holiday, but it didn't arrive. Damn. Um, and I think that was it. Oh, no, I got a Beauty Blender. There it is. Beauty Blender. I really do like this. Uh, I got two. Then the other day, HQ Hair sent me two Sigma items, um, along with this cute little card that says Totes Amaze Hauls. So cute of them. So they sent me a lip liner in this gorgeous colour and then a power crayon in a very bright pink. And I'm not really one for pink, but we shall see. It's summer and I need to stop wearing berry lips all the time because I'm starting to look like a goth. 
Um, I also got Sen um, some eye cream that is meant to visibly improve eyes within 15 minutes. And mine are looking ridiculously, um, what's the word, wrinkly and old lately. <laughs> um, and then a hair mask from this organic brand um, that is sold in places like Harvey Nichols and Whole Foods, if I remember rightly. Um, but my hair is dire, so this will come in handy. What else have we got? From Amazon, I just ordered some white bedding because I have a thing with bedding. And I am ridiculous for ordering white because with Percy, it will not stay white for long. So we'll see how that goes. I think it was only around um, about £15-ish for a duvet and two pillars. So I'm not expecting the best. But with it being white, even if it was the best, it still wouldn't last long. I also got in this box earlier this week. Um some items from Paul Mitchell and UCID Cosmetics and then I ordered this for Percy um, there's no way I'm going to be able to open it and you can't see the picture it's like a little fluffy stand and it has um, little mice mices? mouse, mouses, mice mice that come out of the top that he can play with um, I had a £45 Amazon voucher so I thought I'd get him a little treat because he's an indoor cat so he needs lots of toys and things like that what else did i get him i also got him this it's a scratching box with some catnip and i'd also bought him some catnip and it comes with this cute little thing on but it's cardboard um and this is cecil sisal so that's cat safe and obviously cardboard is cat safe but he loves chewing on my boxes from my blog deliveries so now he doesn't have to ruin my boxes he can ruin his own He's currently eating my straighteners. What a little shit. Um, what else did we get? I ordered some stuff from Anushka's blog sale. Um, Anushka from Anushka Loves. Um, and I picked up these today. She's an absolute babe. I, oh, I bought this from her, the Laura Mercier Primer. And she sent me, as well, a uh, Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. Best bitch ever. Um, a wet and wild little mini palette. I've always wanted to try these. They're an American brand that are quite cheap. Um, and I always see uh, US bloggers going on about them. So I also ordered from her the Naked Flushed palette. With bronzer, blusher and highlighter. Very pretty. And also a MAC powder highlighter, I think it is. In nude pink. I don't know, I just saw it and saw the picture was like right i need it it's so pretty i mean can you see that pattern i didn't even care what it was i just thought it looks so pretty in my drawer so we got them um this month's got hearted box which i haven't looked in yet i might do a separate video on that as well then also the rival to the cohorted box is the look incredible feel gorgeous box which is another high-end luxury box i have no idea what this is it came with nothing in it. I actually thought this was what Anushka had sent, but obviously not. I can't even get in it. Let's see if we can get the press stuff out. Oh, yes. Apparently this is a new brand that I um, do budget makeup. So most items are like a quid, and I think they're going into Pound World. That's it. Because the pound land makeup range that was mostly all a quid did really really well so this is their version of it so i'm excited to see what's in there they said they're sending me a foundation a powder an eyeliner and then i said as well can you send me like an eyeshadow and a mascara so that i can try do like a little um like a face of makeup for a youtube video or for a blog look um so yes interesting to see what's in there I might open these boxes separately and do something with them. And then I ordered myself, because I want to start doing proper YouTube videos, and I have my studio lights, but everyone's always like, yeah, ring lights are best because it gives your face like a really nice halo -y glow. So I didn't want to spend 80 quid on something, because that's most of the ring lights were around... 70 pound 70 pounds plus this was 21 pound because i already have my big studio lights i have two of them i 
didn't then want to have another stupid light on another stupid massive stand taking up more room in my tiny little flat so this should be quite interesting it had really really good reviews on on the amazon page where i bought it from right so i kind of lied i said it was done um, doing the mail unboxing then I looked in this box and nearly pissed my pants in excitement because oh my god Nas, Tart, Nas, Growling I think that's Shantikai, Shantikai, oh, I don't know I'm not even going to try it Sunday way too tired for that but look at this colour that is like perfect and up my street although I was just saying I need to stop wearing such colours because I look like a goth in the height of summer when it's like that but loving the look of this box this is the look incredible box and look incredible yes look incredible and i will leave details of it down below this is my second box from them and the first one was just just, just as good it had loads of like bare minerals and stuff in. oh so you can tell i'm such a makeup addict and how giddy i get because like oh my god i'm gonna go look in the carted box i'm like a child at christmas and i have to say thank you to every single brand that sends me something it's amazing and i appreciate it so so much it's like it's the best hobby in the world is vlogging i get so much from it and not just in terms of product but in, in from all sorts so i'm eternally grateful to all these companies and thank you so much and now let's look at my makeup so this is this month's box and obviously my eyes were straight up away and drawn to this the balm i'll start again it's the balm voyage palette I just love the balm. I love their eyeshadows. They're so, so good. And their packaging is always so, so beautiful. It's like benefit packaging. I can't even get in this. Oh, there, that's why, because I'm trying to open it the wrong way. Look at this. It's so pretty. Oh, wow, this colour. Welcome. Oh, my God. Oh, and foul, foul common. I'm just... I'm gonna need them all. Just so pretty. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look, and it gives you a little card showing you how to make some looks. Right, stop it, Hayley. Move on to the next thing. Oh my god. Hourglass, Clinique, Jimmy Choo. Oh, it's not Clinique. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. It. I was just having a little think, and I was pretty sure that it give you four full-sized items every month and obviously I only have three full-sized in the Jimmy Choo which is the sample and I am right I am missing an item oh no I'm missing the Too Faced selfie powder I'm gonna have to go on their Twitter and find out if um, everybody's missing them or if it's just me because I know one month they were, they were missing a <laughs> look at this what are you doing <laughs> you fall oh he's gone i better move that before you see my address so yeah i don't know if it's just me that's missing that missing them it or if it's everybody but i need to go check twitter and have a look and um, send them a little tweet and i know they're really good at sending out replacements and stuff because um i watched an unboxing once and it was alice from beauty by alice and she was missing something from hers so and they sent her it out which just means I can't do a post on it until then. Boo. Anyway, on to the other box. Do you know what? So far, I'm really impressed with the look of these. Um, so you've got a liquid liner. Ooh, sounds a bit... But what do you expect for a quid? It's not going to be the best. Um, what is this? Uh, waterproof mascara. A blusher. Oh, I like that shade. Oh, that's so pretty. It's very like a dusky pink. Ooh, I like. I hope that's a really nice formula. Then we have two eyeshadows. So like a purpley colour and a very like brown colour that you could use for brows as well. So multitasker product. Another blusher, which is um a very nice shade actually. But I would prefer to use this as a um, tran transition shade for eyeshadow. So that would be good to set the bases of them. Then we have a powder, which is very orangey looking. Number 14, Autumn Beige. Match me right now, but I wouldn't get away with that with my normal skin colour. Only at the minute because I'm tanned. 
and then we have a bronzer which again looks very orangey but I can't really detect any shimmer in it which is good because I hate shimmery bronzers and a matte foundation in shade 3 again going to be perfect for now because I've got a bit of a tan however not so perfect for when I'm pale although I'm saying that it might actually be a really pale colour let me just pop you there for a second and we'll have a look do 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 play infomercial makeup do you know what this is really surprising actually I just see it out that is like really pale for shade 3 and generally as shades get darker they get warmer so they become orangey this is very pale and very neutral even verging on cool oh i don't know it's getting a little bit warmer as it's sitting on my hand but still it's very pale and it's not orange in the slightest i'm hoping this is picking it up well what are you doing in there percy <laughs> what are you doing you got a new home yeah, I told you he loves blogger mail day. Or just any mail day, post day. Can see ya. <laughs> oh, are you okay? with my crazy hair brows are still looking good hell yeah that arch though loving it um yeah it's about half past six i'm just waiting for my um tea to cook i'm having a weird tea um you know like when it's bonfire night and you have um pork pie and mushy peas with mint sauce well i hate pork pies so i always had mine with jacket potatoes so tonight I'm having jacket potatoes, mint sauce, mushy peas and pickled onions. Not like the proper pickled onions. I slice some onion up and pickle it myself. Um, so it doesn't... still weird, but not as weird as just throwing a load of pickled onions on. Um, but whilst I'm waiting for that to finish, it's going to be about another half hour. I'm going to um, fry some chicken in some fry light um, and make a salad. So... Sorry, phone going off. I'm going to have a chicken salad for lunch tomorrow at work, so I'm going to make that. Although I have no idea what salad stuff I've got in, so maybe it's just going to be chicken and lettuce. Probably the last update you're going to get from me today which is probably a blessing for you all because I don't really do much and my footage is pretty naff um that's about it it's Sunday night it's nearly bedtime it's around 11 o'clock um I've just been editing the vlog from the vlogs from today tonight um, and the vlog was at around 45 minutes long already. <sighs> Excuse me, that was a long yawn. Yeah, the vlog was already at about 45 minutes long. Um, I cut about 10 minutes worth of stuff out, but it's only Sunday. And my vlog at the minute is running from Thursday to whenever. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to end the vlog here. Otherwise it's going to be ridiculously long. And most people's vlogs run Monday to Sunday, but because I was on holiday and, and came back um, on the Wednesday, mine is running Thursday to whenever. So I think if I end it now, that'll be better. Um, it's so long. It's not so much that I've done really good stuff. It's just so long because I sit here and do like seven minute monologues to camera, which are just full of absolute crap that nobody's interested in. I mean... Nobody really wants to watch half an hour of me and Percy, let alone nigh on an hour. Maybe Percy, not so much me. So yes, I'm going to end it now. Um, I'm at a meal this week with Paul Mitchell, so that should be fun to vlog. 
apparently it's like a very fancy <coughs> excuse me a very fancy pants sit down meal but I totally forgotten about it until another blogger messaged me about it today and I have nothing to wear boo and I have no money to go on ASOS and order all the stuff well, I do have a one of those ASOS VIP um, point voucher theme bobs <coughs> Percy's just amusing himself on the bed running around he's gone now um, yeah so I'm going to sign off now guys and this should be up Wednesday and then there should be a full week vlog up the following Wednesday so I'm going to go I hope you all have a fabulous blah. I hope you all have a fabulous week I'm so tired um, don't forget to like, subscribe thumbs up leave a comment I don't know, do what you want <laughs> just make it a nice thing um, so yes, I'm going to go I'm going to try to get some sleep <laughs>